camera in the house and I don't want to go get it. And my car is full. We have a bunch of stuff back here that was going to go to Goodwill. I'm trying to sell some things online, but more so trying to sell the big pieces online because it's easier for me to manage than doing all the little ones. And then we have a friend who has some medical bills and she actually reached out to me and was like, hey, by the way, I'm selling items um, to help pay for medical bills. And I was like, yes, because I'm, I've gone to Goodwill, it's been closed. The like drop off has been closed and I brought everything like five times then unloaded it every single time. Was like I really need to donate this somewhere else. And then she reached out to me and I was like way more excited to help a friend out than to give it to Goodwill. So that's where I'm going right now is to drop all these off with my friend and she's going to sell all this stuff. And yeah, so our garage is a little bit more empty now. I still need to do like a couple of dump runs. I have a lot of trash and stuff in the garage, but I'm gonna do that later today probably. Hi friends, good morning. I'm on my way right now to go grab some cash because um, since we're moving, I have been finding things on offer up and trying to find some more furniture because our house is 800, our new house is about 800 square feet bigger than our current house, which is great. But because of that, we don't have enough furniture to fill the house. So I've been trying to find some more items. So we have like now a front living room area, which you guys saw if you saw our house tour video. If you didn't, I will link it up above. But we have a front living room area, so I had to find a new couch and I got these two new chairs. I still need to find a rug and all that kind of stuff. But I was looking for a, some kind of cool coffee table. We're gonna be doing something to our fireplace that's in that front room. And the floors are gonna be redone and the couch is kind of this like I don't know, it's kind of like mauve gray. It's a little bit like purpley gray. We got it off of Craigslist and it was actually a really good find. It was super cheap and it's in good shape. And so we were like, it's such a good deal. We have to take it. it I was looking for a leather couch, but leather couches even used were like a thousand dollars. So maybe down the road we can do that. But for now we started with one that was $250. And then I found these two matching chairs that are gonna go across from it. And then was looking for some kind of like wood uh, coffee table. Even on offer up though, everything I found was like either it looked really cheap and it was still like 60, 70 bucks, or I was looking. I love live edge tables. I think they're very pretty because it just gives you some interest and it gives you some character in a room. I think when everything else is like, <clears throat> like the couch and the chairs that we have are kind of upholstered. I'm talking way too much about this, but. I'm kind of gonna show you guys the process, so I might as well explain it. The couch and chairs are upholstered and have like the little buttony looks, if you know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to bring something with character and wood into the coffee table. And I was like, a live edge table would be perfect because it has a lot of character and it's really like homey and earthy, obviously, because it's literally wood. Every live edge table that I found that I liked, all of them actually were over $100. The ones that I liked were all like $250 even used. They're expensive because I really like the metal legs, the black metal legs. It's a little bit industrial too. So I'm like, I bet, I bet I can make this cheaper and I bet I can find a better deal. So I started looking on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist for just live edge slabs and I was planning to like seal it and stain it myself. Um, and then I know you can buy like legs for coffee tables or regular tables or whatever on Amazon. And so the hairpin legs that I found were super affordable. You can buy any different size, whatever height you want for the coffee table and you just screw them in the bottom of whatever like piece of wood that you have. And I found this one guy who was selling uh, slabs, like live edge slabs, for $16 a foot, which is cheaper than everyone else I was seeing. And so he's basically charging $67 for like a four foot something inch table or piece of wood, which would be perfect for a coffee table. Anyway, I'm talking about this way too much. Point is, um, he needs cash. I asked if he would take like cash app or anything. He doesn't want to, which is fine. But now I have to go find cash and the total is 67.50, so I'm like, how do I find 6750 cash? I mean, I can find $20 bills or $50 bills, but places don't normally give you ones or 50 cents. So I think my plan is to go to the bank, get some 20s, about $80 in 20s, and then I'm gonna go to Starbucks and order a small iced coffee and then hopefully, or a tea or something, hopefully they give me back enough of like fives and ones that I need. Um, Cause normally they won't give you cash back. I don't know. I'm on the hunt right now for some cash. And then we're gonna go pick up that slab later today. I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna show you that project in this video. It depends on how long it is. But I will show you guys my 
process with that and how it turns out and everything. But point is, is I'm getting a Live Edge coffee table for about 80 bucks versus 250. So totally worth it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. Got the money. Okay, so I got the piece of wood here yesterday. It's the next day. And Garrett's helping me with getting the sander ready. Thanks, Garrett. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna attempt to sand it, stain it, and seal it today. I have to order new legs because I bought the wrong size, but I'm gonna show all of you guys that in the next video. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed and go follow me at Tay Terrell on Instagram and follow him. Garrett underscore Terrell. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!